The First World War was known as the Great War. The principal causes of it were nationalism. This was the main cause of the First World War because they started having the idea of being a nation, of feeling the belonging of their country, so they start having like disagreements. They bring all the citizens together so they were stronger than the other countries. They were ready to fight. Imperialism. This was another cause because they wanted to take land and make them their property and expand their countries. Then we have militarism, which was really important because the European nations started building armies and having a higher profile by the government. The last cause of the First World War was the Allies, the Alliance system. Now we are going to talk about the characteristics of the First World War. Okay, first we have that this war was really, really different from the rest. They started using new weapons, machine guns, and the technology started developing. They started using chemicals to kill many people. This was a total war. Also, the main characteristic of the First World War was that the fight, like yes, like the war, wasn't a game one country versus another country. This war was between allies, between alliances, include many countries versus a many countries. And the mobiliz mobilization and also a characteristic was the extension. That this war was in one country, then in one country, and like that. And the final characteristic was that many people die. The Treaty of Versailles was signed in the 1980s and it had three principal points. One, that the pre-owned German lands were given to the countries that were attacked by Germany, like to France, Belgium, Denmark, Czechoslovakia and Poland. Also, the League of Nations was created to control the overseas colonies of Germany and Germany had to return to Russia the land that they had taken from them and also some of the land that was released became a free state like Estonia, Lithuania okay the Treaty of Versailles had very negative consequences and principally on Germany the, the treaty was supposed to weaken off Germany so to prevent another invasion and to keep safe the French border but also to keep them strong enough so that they could uh, support themselves. Also the League of Nations was created to keep the peace all over the world and the German people was very angry about the unfair punishment that was given to them because they thought that First, blaming Germany for the beginning of the First World War was not true. And second, that they weren't the ones who started the war and who accepted to get in it. It was a period of low economic activity that raised unemployment from 25% to 35% and decreased the gross domestic product, that is the GDP. One of the causes of it was the stock market crash of 1929, prices of goods fell and there were banking withdrawals. Also reduction in purchasing across the board, overproduction and weak banking systems. Because the creators of the regimes wanted to have total control on people and because they wanted to have a centralized control of economy, they searched for stability, straightening and a solution to economic difficulties of the Great Depression. They also created the regimes because of the devastation of World War I. Dictators gave people very few freedoms and they influenced people with propaganda and censorship. They also wanted to brainwash people in order to create an equal ideology between all the individuals. What is totalitarianism? It is a system of rule, a dictatorship, despotism or tyranny. A government that has almost complete control over the life of its citizens and does not permit political opposition. It is ruled by an ideology. In the case of Japan, the militarism. It rules the citizens in all public aspects. Example, Public activity, political, economic, and social. 
Some of the characteristics of this regime are monopolistic control of the armed forces, a system of terroristic police control, central control and direction of the whole economy. The individuals have no freedom. The militarism ruled all Japan. The Japanese expanded to achieve economic security. Japan knew that it had to act fast to complete the invasion throughout the Pacific and in the Southeast Asia that was equal to a rapid and mobile military force. The militarism also ruled the parts that they invaded. Totalitarianism in Japan started rising in 1930s when the army and all it represented was held in much greater esteem than politicians in general. 1931, the Manchurian incident where the Japanese invaded Manchuria, detaching it from China without approval of Japanese government, was the proof of this rise. 1936, attempt of coup d'etat towards greater military power within the state. From 1938 to 1940, the creation of a new order in East Asia dominated Japanese military thinking. 1940, declaration of the Greater East Asia co prosperity sphere towards expansion. In 1941, Hideki Toho comes to power and establishes a military bureaucratic regime. The same year, Pearl Harbor attack. In 1948, Toho is executed, giving end to his regime. So, the leader of this regime was Hideki Toho. He was born in 1884 in Tokyo. After participating in World War I, he became leader of the militarists in Japan. In 1940, he became Minister of War. He was Prime Minister of Japan when the attack in Pearl Harbor in 1941. He died in 1948, executed as war criminal. Hideki held a military dictatorship as government. He wanted to get rid of Japan of European and American influences, strengthen military and build a powerful Japanese empire by gaining raw material for industry. Anti-capitalist economy. After recovering from the economic downturn, a period of rationalization, modernization of small and medium enterprises in which exports industries were emphasized took place in the 1930s. Foreign direct investment decreased and they started investing in industry and in the production of raw materials. The militarism has the ideology that it is based on military personnel, which contains plenty power of the nation, the use of force to reach their goals, also, they have an idea of racial superiority, rejection to democracy, and predominance over the nation. Some human rights violations caused by this regime are right to life. The chargers take away your life if you do not do what they told you to do. Right. Not to be subjected to torture or to cruel, inhuman or degrading treatments or punishment. State actors often act with impunity as transactions of human rights, norms and are often fail to deliver justice against perpetrations of violence, especially when conducted against social and economical marginalized groups. Right to equal protection, according to the humanitarian norms in time of international or internal armed conflict. Bandages and opportunists commit acts of violence directed especially against women and girls as a way to instill fear, traitor, or weaken to the opposite side. Right to liberty and security of person. The authorities should give the community the right of expressing their opinions and beliefs.